Hey there everybody, welcome back to another hair grooming product review. And today, I'll be discussing one of the most underrated vintage hair creams ever and one of the less lesser known hair creams, and it is the uh, Tabak Original Hair Cream. It comes in one of these green boxes, and it is 100 milliliters or 3.4 ounces for you Americans use Imperial units. As you open up the box, you have a tube inside it. Well, this tube is in pretty bad shape because I dropped it several times, so it's pretty deformed. And uh, the weird thing is, I did not find this in Germany at all. Um, and I actually found this in the Netherlands. It's so much easier to find there because um, their drugstores have a far better selection of hair products than in Germany. They actually sell a lot more grooming Vintage grooming products, they have a line of Murray's. Every drugstore is supposed to have Murray Superior and Brill Cream at least. And um, most stores also have carry the um, Hair Glow and Super Light. And if you're lucky, you might find other stores that also carry New Nile, the Edge Wax, and the Beeswax along with those, all of those other products. And so I found this in a drugstore in the Netherlands, in just the hair product section. It's just right out there in the open. But in Germany, um, what, when I returned to Germany from the Netherlands, right, right now I'm in Darmstadt, I'm not in Berlin yet. I'm still on my week-long European trip. I'm going back to Berlin tomorrow. So I uh, searched up the um, drugstores here, and in one of them, um, Mula, I actually um, found this in the men's perfume and cologne section. So you really could not find this at all with your other hair products. In the hair product section, you could find this in the perfume section because as a matter of fact the Tabak um, brand which came from the Moira und um, Wertz company they it's supposed to be a line of fragrances and colognes but apparently they have a whole range of wet shaving products even a, a couple of hair products they have a hair tonic along with it and a hair cream and so um, yeah there there's that so I pretty much liken it to how you cannot find Brill Cream in the hair product section in the US, but you can find it with the other wet shaving products and kind of liken it to that. And so let's get to the product. I have some of my hair right now, which I put on earlier in the day. And the scent on it is um, flowery. And it's classic, it's clean, it's just like, it smells like your, um, it smells pretty similar to Birkavit hair cream. It's sort of like that sarsaparilla, chamomile, flowery kind of scent, but this is not only flowery. If you would smell a little further, you would get a very citrusy, like a bit of a lemon-lime kind of hint to it. It's just a very um, subtle fruity scent, but it's mostly super flowery and it smells kind of like a... A shaving product actually so I really like the scent and the scent is overall the same throughout the day it does not diminish nor it does not um, get stronger it's relatively strong for a hair product but not too strong and when you work it in it just um, throughout the day the smell does not fade and yeah the lid screws off like the American Brill cream So I start off with the dab like this usually on damp hair, but I have some product in right now, some of this, so I won't really be damping my hair in this time. And uh, like your other hair creams, it feels some very um, lotion-like and super, super light, but unlike Brill Cream, uh, Brill Cream, when you rub it in, it just gets more oily as you rub it in, but this one just feels more um, lotion-like as you rub it in. You, it doesn't feel any more greasy and you would get a really really nice shine a very um, glossy shine for this product it's relatively high and that's one of my favorite things as to why I love this product a lot so you can see there's a nice shine up right there but the bad news is that the shine does not last all day long I mean when you go back after a couple of hours um, you would see like a drier kind of shine but there's a little bit of a glossiness to it which is still a good thing because most products, when they lose their shine, they lose their glossiness as well, but this one still has the glossiness. But it's, even when it dries out, the shine is still relatively 
okay compared to when other products dry out throughout the day and the products, their, their shine isn't that um, visible anymore. And just even for a hair cream, look at how it's doing for my sides. It is just keeping it down super, super nicely. Normally, um, most hair creams are too light to even just manage my short Asian sides. But this one actually kind of does the trick. So this one works really well, even better than Brill Cream on my hair alone. Well, Brill Cream works okay, but this one actually works better. This is one of the most high-end um, hair creams I've ever used in my life. And in fact, it is the, the strongest hair cream I've used along with Suavecito Brilliant Cream. That's some really, really quick styling right there. A nice, you would get a really nice and glossy contour. And uh, obviously it's still a light hold, but it's still, it's quite a stronger than Brill Cream. The hold in Brill Cream is equivalent to that of water, but this one is stronger in water and you feel like you have something in your hair, but um, it just, it still feels um, really, really light and it's like still much of a light hold, but um, it also makes my hair look a lot fuller for some reason, even though it's um, my hair is naturally um, thin. I don't really have a lot of hair and it's quite fine as well. It just makes my hair look a little thicker and it's like, it just has like a really nice bounce to it. And also another good thing is even though the shine kind of fades out a bit, if you restyle it, if you restyle your hair, you can um, restore some of that um, shine a little bit more. And also like every other hair cream, it is um, water soluble, very water soluble as a matter of fact. Um, the other day it was raining and it was my stupid idea to actually use this. Well, it was snowing in the morning, but it rained later throughout the day. It was my stupid idea to actually use this on that day. And so I had no umbrella and I was walking out in the rain. And when I recombed my hair, it, w it was just full of white water. And so it's just a super, super um, water soluble, even like more so than Brill Cream, and I would, this actually works like relatively well on my hair for hair cream, and it goes hand in hand together with the pomade really nicely to add shine to use as a top coat. I normally use it as a top coat as well if I don't use it alone, but um, I also use this as a degreasing agent and for a hair cream. So far, this actually does the best job at that. It doesn't, it does an even better job in breaking down the pomade in my hair when I leave it in to degrease my hair than Brill Cream. Brill Cream does a relatively good job for that, but this is actually better. And uh, so I would actually say this is somewhat, I hate to say this, I love Brill Cream a lot. Don't get me wrong, I'm a huge fan of Brill Cream, but this stuff is actually better than Brill Cream. I mean, it's whole, how it degreases your hair, and um, it is overall better than Brill Cream, but the only one way in which um, Brill Cream is better is that it has Brill Cream Shine is an all day one and it looks exactly the same throughout the day but this one just dulls out a bit but you'd still have the glossiness right there it's still um, okay it still receives my seal of approval because normally I like products with high shine and I get super disappointed if the product is a nice shine at first but throughout the day it just dulls out but this one even though it kind of dulls out it doesn't dull out too much and it still leaves a bit of shine to your hair kind of like when a bit like when a tonic dries out, but just a little more glossy than that. And so even its drier shine still receives my seal of approval right there. And that is um, all I have to say about this product. Um, in fact, um, in the Netherlands, it's slightly more expensive than in Germany. In Germany, you can, one tube will set you back for about five, Euros, which is pretty expensive for a hundred milliliter vintage hair cream because they're normally vintage hair creams are normally very cheap. Like um, a tube of Brisk would be about one euro and forty five cents, and um, a fifty milliliter tube of Birkovit is probably around seventy cents to a euro, or a, I can't really remember. It's around that range. But then um, in the Netherlands, a two hundred fifty milliliter tub of Brill cream would set you back for about only three euros and 39 cents. This one, a hundred milliliter tube, would set me back for about six euros and 39 cents in the Netherlands, almost twice as much as Brill Cream and yet it's a lot less. But um, 
it does a better performance than Brill Cream if you, other than the longevity of Shine. So this is actually a very um, high quality product. I'm not sure, if, for those of you who might ask me if it smells like the aftershave, I don't know for sure, but I think it does. I smell the perfume though, the original perfume, and it smells exactly like the hair cream. So I expect the, the um, aftershave would smell pretty much the same. And here is how my hair looks. So overall, even though this is a relatively new hair product for me, it instantly became one of my favorites and it's now part of, um, it's one of my go-to products since like the last week. And I hope you enjoyed this video and please do leave a like, comment and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video.